me again. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. So first things first, you must be wondering, where have I been the past 10 years? Well, I'm really, really sorry to say, but I've got to cut down on my videos to once a month now because the thing is, I'm currently doing my GCSEs so I've also got loads of other extra things like Duke of Edinburgh and just stuff like that that I've just been really busy with so instead of just cutting off YouTube as a whole because I love YouTube and I have missed you guys super 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 much so I've decided to instead not every week but once every month I'll be back here so you can see this face again every month guys. So guys now we've got that out the way don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all my videos because I post monthly. Now let's get on with the video. So guys I've decided to start a new series called NHS is dying. I think that this is a very important subject everyone should know about and if you're not from England then you should know that the NHS is a government provided service that's got healthcare for everyone in the country and I'm going to make a series of different parts of why I believe the NHS is dying so keep on watching. So today I'm here with part one the GP. So if you're unwell the first thing you tend to do is if you can't sort the problem out at home is call your GP. The problem is, the GP is pretty pointless. When you call to book an appointment, it goes a little something like this. Hiya, it's the Get Well Soon Surgery, how may I help? Oh hiya, I'd like to book an appointment with the GP today regarding some pains in my chest and tummy. Right, okay, so how about an appointment for Tuesday the 5th of May at 10.40am? You're joking, right? That's a month's time. What's the point? Sorry love, it's the earliest we can do. Um, unless it's an emergency, is it urgent? Well, I'm not exactly dying, but I can't sit on the toilet without having to use three toilet rolls put in the freezer beforehand. You feel me? Uh, I'll book you in for 2.20 today then. She's feisty. And that only happens if they take you off hold after 10 years. So after you've booked your appointment, the next stage is arriving and signing into your appointment. And the waiting game can be excruciatingly painful. Okay, we're here. Let's sign in so we don't get marked as late. Right, the machine's broken. Let's wait in line. One eternity later. Uh, the line's gone a bit shorter. Two thousand years later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Finally. Hiya, may I take your name, please? Yes, it's P-A-R-I. Oh right, it seems you're 13 minutes late for your appointment and we only allow 10 minutes late max. Are you for real? I've been waiting in this line for half an hour and you're telling me I'm late. I was here 20 minutes early. How are you telling me I'm late? You better fit me in for today before I So after you've finally signed in as arrived, you've just got to wait your turn to see the doc. And wait, and wait, and wait. But for some reason it's okay if they're 55 minutes late for my appointment. Hashtag double standards, hashtag hypocrites, hashtag sorry not sorry. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna give me their infection. Oh, let me use that hand sanitizer over there. Oh wait, I wonder how many people have touched that and put their disgusting germs on it. Never mind, that's so unhygienic. Ew, ew, ew. Oh. oh my god, they didn't even cover their mouth. Now I'm going to get the infections in one, two seconds. Now I've got the germs. Oh, great. Let me sleep this off. Eventually. Ding dong, ding dong. Miss Purry, please. <gasps> oh, 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 right, oh, right. Um, uh, where am I again? Now once you've gone through all of that and finally get to see the doctor, the condition you actually came here for has probably gone away since the agonising pain you were in three weeks ago has naturally gone away. So you, my handsome friend, have got to fake it till you make it. Hi doctor, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, not too bad, thanks. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> I can barely breathe and my head's splitting and I can hardly talk. Hmm, let me check for tonsillitis. Open your mouth. Ah. Ah, you look fine, darling. 
darling. Oh, oh, oh no, it's actually my chest that's the issue. It's probably all linked together, you know, probably like Ebola or something. Hmm, in that case, I think it's just a slight case of the flu. I'll prescribe you some medication and I'll see you again in a week's time. Okay, thanks doc, see you next week. Now, once you've seen the doctor and they tell you to come again in a week's time, you go back to the reception to do what he says and book an appointment for a week's time. But the only issue is... What do you mean you're fully booked for the next three months? The doctor told me to come back next week. Sorry love, it is what it is. You can call on the day and see if there's any cancellations, but there's no guarantee. How am I meant to call you when all your phone lines are busy 24-8 because not even seven? Sorry love, it is what it is. What do you mean it is? The same cycle continues. So there we have it guys, that was part one of my new series called NHS is Dying. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a huge thumbs up and comment down below if you could relate to any of these issues and comment down below any more pet peeves of the NHS you have. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below to see me monthly. Anyways guys, see you later, bye.